डिस्कवरी ऑफ सब एटॉमिक पार्टिकल सो आफ्टर द वेन जय थॉम्सन वॉज डूइंग सो मेनी एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑन द कैथोड रेस सो ड्यूरिंग द एक्सपेरिमेंट ही डिस्कवर्ड सम पार्टिकल्स दैट इज पार्टिकल्स वॉज डिस्कवर्ड बट ही डिस्कवर्ड मोर प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ दैट पार्टिकल्स डिस्कवरी इलेक्ट्रॉन दैट इज कैथोड रे एक्सपेरिम कैथोड रे एक्सपेरिमेंट ओके सो दिस इज द वन कैथोड रे दिस इज द वन क्रूक्स ट्यूब्स और यू कैन से डिस्चार्ज ट्यूब तो दिस डिस्चार्ज ट्यूब इज दिस जस्ट लाइक ए वी आर सींग इन द टेलीविजन टेलीविजन ऑल्सो डिस्चार्ज ट्यूब नाउ इट इज नॉट ए टूडे टूडे इज प्लाज्मा टी वी इज देयर सो मे न्यू टी वी आर देयर बट इफ यू टेक द जस्ट ट्वेंटी ईयर्स बैक वी आर यूजिंग द सी आर टी ट्यूब सी आर ट्यूब इज कैथोड रे ट्यूब डिस्चार्ज ट्यूब सो इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ वन कैथोड एंड वन मेरोज सम प्रीवियस मॉडल दैट वे यूज ट्यूरिंग बाई द साइंटिस्ट इज वन वैक्यूम पम्प सो थ्रू वैक्यूम पम्प वी कैन कंट्रोल द एयर सो वी कैन रेड्यूज एयर हेयर This is a negative terminal connected to the negative terminal of the battery. Positive terminal of the electrode is connected to the to the positive terminal of the battery, and this battery is having how much volt is ten thousand volt. So volt is very very high, okay. And here pressure is very very less. So if you keep the pressure very less, then what will happen? Uh, this cathode they will from this uh, some gas will some particle will come out, some rays will come out, radiation will come out, and it will goes towards the anode. Okay, and the back side of this uh, this uh, this tube, there will be some green glow. So this was the some phenomena happening in the cathode uh, ray experiment. So, so let us see some condition conditions. So what conditions were there prevailing uh, at that time? At a normal pressure, if the pressure were normal, means like a pressure of atmospheric pressure, so gas remains non-conducting. So air is the bad conductor of electricity. Air is the bad conductor of electricity, even at high voltage. If you give the high voltage like ten thousand, it is a bad conductor of electricity. Okay, but when pressure is reduced to ten per minus two to ten per minus three millimeter mercury, it is very less pressure. It is one by thousand millimeter per pressure. So what will happen? Gas becomes conducting. Same gas becomes conducting, and some rays cause certain material, including glass, to fluoresce or give off light. So they give off light when they uh, so when the pressure reduces to this much pressures and light is emitted by residual gas. So this is the gas present in the glass tube that is called residual tips in the whole discharge tube. So if you see this gas present where is the whole discharge tube was glowing. Okay, under this pressure, and the color of the light depends upon the nature of the gas inside the tube. So, whatever the nature of gas is present inside the tube, the same will be, the same type of light will be uh, produced by the cathode ray tube. Now, if you reduce pressure further, further means how much? Initial pressure was 10 to the minus 2, 10 to the minus 4. If you produce 10 to the minus 4, 1 by 10,000, what will happen? The glow fades. Initially there was glow, but it will again decreases. Then a green glow will be a glow. A green glow produced behind the anode is observed. So here I have written here. So if you reduce the pressure ten power ten power minus four means one one by ten thousand. So uh, the glow will fade down and the green glow will remain at behind the tube. Okay, but glow is there. So this gas again remain conducting. Bus gas is conducting. so under reduced pressure gas become conducting this is our main motto observation as radiation originated at cathode so it was called cathode rays later on jj thompson in 1897 carried out extensive research on same cathode ray discharge tube he studied the different properties of cathode rays and he proved that the charge carried by the cathode is negative so negative was proved by Cathode uh, Thomson only. That's why maximum credit is goes to Thomson for the discovery of electrons. So uh, whatever discharge tube was there, so it was the uh, main contribution by Plucker, then uh, Crookes, then Thomson. Now let us study properties of cathode rays, which was proved by J J Thomson. So here cathode rays travel in straight lines. Cathode ray travels in straight line, and direction of emission does not depend upon the position of anode. You keep position of anywhere, it will be always straight line. Its speed is what is speed? Speed is also not less. Ten per seven meter per second. Speed of light, very high speed. 
it is speed is very high second point it can cast it can produce sharp shadows if any opaque solid object is placed in their path this means if you make this one anode uh, a positive anode it can put any directions so here put any solid object when this rays from uh, coming from the cathode will fall on the object this will produce a shadow this is also one of the properties of cathode rays okay so it producing cathode rays rotate a frictionless parallel wheel so if you take parallel wheel so when this cathode rays will fall on the parallel wheel it will rotate so this is light in weight and when placed in their path so in the path this parallel wheel is present so when falling on the parallel wheel it will automatically rotating like this direction this means uh, this cathode rays has some momentum some kinetic energy okay and their speed is depend upon the voltage supplied so if the voltage will be maximum kinetic energy will be maximum and on producing uh, they also produce heating effect this means uh, this cathode rays are cathode rays are made up of energetic particles so here i have i have uh, so drawn the diagram so this you can understand clearly next point they contain negatively charged particles so they contain negatively charged particles so here discharge tube is there so how negative charged particles this is a negative field this is the positive field so this is uh, anode this is a cathode so uh, they are attracted by the positive electrodes and they are deflected both the electric as well as magnetic this is the point so when this is passing through so when this field is there so this will be attracted towards the positive field okay not negative field positive field like this one this means this uh, cathode is a negative charge by one of the important discovery made by thomson they affect the photographic plate so here they they can they can miss uh, cathode rays can affect the photographic plate and can produce fluorescence like zinc sulfide so zinc sulfide is substance fluorescence substance they can process they will glow the whole glass tube will glow they can ionize gases this can also prove that they are the charged particles cathode rays on striking a metal target on high of high atomic weight if you take a metal of high atomic weight like a tungsten tungsten is the good example so on striking the tungsten it will produce the x rays so x rays produce when cathode is falls on the uh, high atomic weight so here like a tungsten high atomic weight like a tungsten then they will produce the x rays this is also important contributions their e by m e by what is e by m electron by mass of the charge so it's uh, electron by charge by mass that is called specific charge value does not depend upon the gas taken in the discharge tube you take whatever the gas helium gas hydrogen gas uh, nitrogen gas the specific charge of that gas is always same so what is the specific charge value so i have given here uh, e by m is 1.76 into 10 power 8 coulomb per gram so this is same for any kind of gas every time this is also important then why this is same so from this it is concluded that if you take any type of gas this is always same this means that charged particle is present in any kind of matter any kind of matters all are same and again the nature of uh, cathode rays so whatever nature there is negative charge particles is there so which is independent on the nature of cathode you take any cathode gold silver iron whatever you take so charge particles is not depending on the cathode and gas in the discharge tube. you gas it to you, you take any gas hydrogen helium you take any cathode so a specific charge for any cathode and the gas present in the uh, gas present in the discharge tube is always same this is also important point to be note down now all these observations like all these things so it uh, it is made clear that electron is the fundamental particle of matter why because it's not depending on the cathode it is present in cathode also any kind of cathode it present in the any kind of gas this means electron is something fundamental particle of the matter now question is how this cathode rays was originated so how it is produced so a concept given here atoms of molecules present in the gas atoms or molecules which are present in the gas they will ionize 
we know in cathode rays can analyze under the high potential difference so they can analyze under the high potential difference and what will happen this gas molecule which is present inside the uh, discharge tubes they will knock out electrons from the cathode so these electrons uh, atoms and molecules it will go to the cathode or is uh, it is near to the cathode so when there will be field will be there so they will strike each other they will knock each other so on bombarding knocking what happens this is actually constitute the cathode rays so hydrogen will give one electron oxygen will also give one electron so it become oxygen two positive if you take helium gas it will also become electron so in this way this electron is generated from the cathode rays on uh, ionization and high potential difference this is there so there are some more uh, proof which states that electron is the fundamental uh, property of matter so let us see that many metal filaments we, we have seen in the bulb the filament is there in that if you on the switch on the bulb what will happen the filament becomes hot it becomes very strong why hot because because of emission of electron it is, it is uh, proved that uh, under thermoionic emissions that uh, may, many metal filament they will produce electrons on strong heating all forms of matter emit electrons when they are exposed to x-ray so if you expose to x-ray they will emit electrons this is also true radioactive substances decay beta particles when radioactive substances when they will decay so they will produce beta particles which is nothing but the fast moving electrons so beta particles are produced from the nucleus and this is uh, nature wise they are similar to electrons one more uh, phenomena happened that is alkali metals emit electrons on exposure to ultraviolet light that is called as photoelectric effect okay so these are the some experimental phenomena which proves that electron is the fundamental uh, particle of matter so this is our basic result